What's up guys, it's me, Jan here once again, and first of all, thank you all so much for that 1k. Hopefully we can make it even more k in the future, but uh, super thankful for that, and uh, yeah, appreciate it. All the support and the love that you're sending my way, thank you so much. Means a fucking lot. But, now that we've done with the sentimental part, uh, let's head on to the video. In today's video, I'll be driving two cars, the Group B Lancia Delta S4 and Group S Prototype Lancia ECV. And uh, Lancia ECV might be a bit unfamiliar for you, since the car has never been raced. Uh, it was a prototype for the Group S class that was supposed to take over the Group B as the main class in World Rally Championship and Group S was, was supposed to be even more freely customized and less restricted uh, cars wise in a, in an attempt to have more car manufacturers and more participants in the World Rally Championship but um, yeah it, the Group S never came since Group B was banned and uh, the FIA opted to go with Group A instead to slow down the speeds and whatnot. But um, yeah, Lancia Delta S4 versus Lancia ECV. Delta S4 has four, 480 horsepower and has 1,145 1, kilos to its weight, and uh, the ECV has 600 horsepower and weighs only 930 kilos. That's a fucking intense. Uh, power to weight ratio and the car is fucking amazing but uh, yeah we do have to keep in mind that the ECV is only a Group S prototype and not the finalized car for the Group S uh, regulations since uh, the Group S were supposedly set to have only 300 brake horsepower power output uh, as restricted to slow down the cars a bit but uh, yeah same stage, both cars driven three times, best time counts. And uh, yeah, I think we could start and see the best times from each car. Let's begin with the Lancia Delta S4. And here we are at the start of the stage, the Sandro Molo stage that has been featured already in the Sebastian Loeb Rally Evo demo as well. And it's easily, therefore, the most driven stage for me in this game. And that's the, ch the stage that I chose in order to provide a fair comparison between the cars and uh, yeah as you guys know Lancia Delta S4 the Group B car for most uh, it was the pinnacle of Group B cars in my opinion it had a shit ton of uh, carbon fiber in it and a supercharger and a turbocharger because why the fuck not and was the ultimate mean machine of Group B, but also sadly it was the machine that ended Group B in uh, in a way in 1986 when Henry and crashed one of these at Tour de Course, and the car bursted into the f into flames and uh, killing him and his co-driver Sergio Cresto. And yeah, the, the f after that, FIA decided to ban Group B and uh, sadly Henry and Sergio are no longer with us but the uh, amazing clips from his or their driving performances and uh, all the stories and what still remain and we plebs get the chance to relive our rallying dreams as hoping to be Henry Teufel and ourselves by driving this beautiful but insanely difficult car and uh, yeah this is by far the most difficult driving performance I've ever done for any video of mine since this car super easily locks up under braking super easily spins the wheels under acceleration has shit ton of acceleration all in all and hugely fast uh, top speeds but then the stopping abilities and handling abilities are quite non-existent so uh, yeah really really fucking tricky car to drive all in all and uh, I'm trying to push this car to its limits but sadly I only pushed it to my limits 
So uh, there's a bit more to find still from the car itself. And uh, I'm not able to do enough justice for the car on this video. So yeah, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, this car made its debut in 1985 at the last WRC event of the year, the Lombard RSC rally, winning it immediately with Hendrik Toivonen. And uh, the same continued in the next rally, 1st of 1986, the Monte Carlo, where Toivonen won again. So, uh, yeah, this is quite a machine to drive, all in all. And uh, yeah, if you want, you can try this as, at yourself as well. Since uh, the Sebastian Loeb Rally Evo is available for all of you. And uh, yeah, last corner and onto the accelerator with both feet. Well, not both because I need to use the clutch as well. But that's the stage for Lancia Delta S4. And now the same car roided the fuck up. The Lancia ECV. And uh, if I remember correctly, the ECV meant for like experimental composite vehicle or something like that and uh, <coughs> compared to the Delta S4 this is a far more easier car to drive there's way more grip in the car you can brake later I brake was braking way too early when I first started driving this car and uh, I don't think that I even was able to get a look up or wheel spin from this car it's just on rails if you've driven uh, F138 and F2004 in a set of Corsa. This is pretty much the rallying equivalent of those two cars. This being the F2004, absolutely on rails, super easy to push with this one. And I do feel like that I got really close to the potential of the car on the stage. And if not, then I'm sorry for you guys that I lied. But uh, yeah, this car has never been raced, sadly. But uh, it has featured in some show runs, promotional runs, whatnot. But uh, yeah, as Group S got cancelled, this car more or less flew into the bin and was never raced. And also, it has another version of the car as well, the ECV2, which is even less prettier than this one. And uh, just like this one, it was never raced either. And both of these are really, really, really rare, and uh, I think this is the first time that this car is even featured in any game here in Sebastian Loeb Rally Evo. And uh, yeah, this car is just an absolute dream to drive. It's it just goes like a thought, you know. You can just imagine I'm going this way, that way, and that way, and usually when you're driving, that doesn't happen. But with this car, it does, regardless of it being fast as fuck so uh, yeah incredibly beautiful car to drive sadly I don't know that much about this car and the technical specs of it more than the weight and the power output and all that but uh, yeah incredibly fast car to drive and, uh, I, I felt like uh, I was able to push it way further than uh, the Delta S4 and way easier as well but I think that the big spoiler on the top of the car also helps on that a bit and uh, I don't think that I reached 5th gear with either car not even the rev limiter with the 4th gear so uh, yeah quite a serpentine road and uh, yeah final braking Round the hairpin and then again on on the throttle, accelerating like a motherfucker. And we are through. That's the time, or that's the stage for Lancia ECV. And uh, yeah, those were the runs. Uh, surprising that the ECV was that much easier to drive, regardless of the way more insane power to weight ratio on that car. But um, yeah, I guess that you guys want to hear the times then, huh? Let's begin with the slower car, Lancia Delta S4. It did it in 3 minutes 17 seconds, 0.379. And then the ECV did it in 3, 10, 0.064. Oh, 
7.3 seconds faster on a roughly 5 kilometer long stage. That That's more than a second faster per kilometer. That's fucking much. Absolutely incredible car. All in all. And uh, yeah. <laughs> if you want you can try it yourself. Sebastian Lebrelli Evo and Group S DLC. And yeah, I do highly recommend that that car is absolute dream to drive, better than anything else that you've ever driven. And no, I was not paid to say this, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm working night shifts this week and weekend, so very, very, very likely that I won't be able to put any streams up. But uh, at least I'll see you guys on Monday for another Maximum Attack Monday, if not earlier. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.